<laughs> Robin. It's always nice when you come into work and you... And, we, and, and Aunt and I, you guys were talking about The Wire. Yeah. And it's one of the one of my favorite guys in the entire series. Literally has three lines. And it's, it's, it's uh, if anyone hasn't heard, turn off three, two, one. Oh, my God. It's been one. years. I know. I know right? But, but season I five at this yeah, point. Yeah. When she's, five. Method Man gets killed. Right. And, and the fucking Slim Charles shoots him in the head and that old guy, what the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> <laughs> that was for Prop Joe. Yeah. Sentimental motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sentimental motherfucker just cost us money. <laughs> the guy's like fucking four feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to hang out with that dude. I did not see that one coming. Oh, no. That was a, uh, we had had so many people sure. from The Wire on that we, we ruined it for years. you, right? Uh, it wasn't ruining it for me in that, like, there's so many characters in it, uh, and I'm terrible with really remembering that yeah. much detail that I really didn't know a lot of what happened. Uh, some of the characters, like Snoop, I knew what was going on with, with that. Uh, Omar, I knew what was going on with that. But, uh, uh, like, a lot of the other shit was a complete surprise to me and, and, and stuff like that. And, yeah, Method Man getting it. I, I was just like... I went, holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> that was and and the uh, the ending of uh, and not not even like storyline ending, but just the fact that it all comes back around and you know younger like versions, that, younger versions of all the same motherfuckers. Yeah. and uh, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, really, it's not really, really cool. change. No all the shit do. on both sides, you know, with the police department, politically, yep. the newspaper, the fucking streets. Uh, amazing show. Finally finished it up last night. Uh, and now I, I understand, like, when you guys are saying, how did this not win awards? Yeah, how did it nothing. not get the recognition? Uh, when that started, was it 2002? I don't know. I, I think, think that so. series started. That's about right. And, and The Sopranos was still on. Oh, yeah. I think that did it a lot of fucking damage because yeah. it was just everybody was so tied up in The Sopranos at that time that uh, getting a new thing series that you're going to pay attention right. to every week and we really didn't have the ability in 2002 when you think about it to just do the marathon grab all the shows and they right. were playing on demand you had to wait for the next fucking week to watch this and then a year mm -hmm. for the new series it was hard enough uh, watching the sopranos like that never mind oh i'm going to do this to myself again with another show so uh you know now i think right. a lot of people now are getting into it because uh, these guys are out oh, yeah, there doing new shows. Certainly and finding is, a new audience. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, never, hell yeah. Never it, had a big audience. You found it. You found it five years later. Five years after later. After we talked to every single cast member. Dude, I look at pictures now and I'm like, I can't believe I took a picture with that you got, guy. You have pictures with fucking Omar. Yep. Uh, Marlo is here. Marlo. Fucking, fucking Chris uh, Bonk, Partlow. Bonk. Bubs. Fucking uh, Snoop. All the motherfuckers. <laughs> and I'm looking through my photos just going, holy shit, that's yeah. the coolest thing. And at the time, you had I no had clue. To, it was just another fuck, uh, person <laughs> in the uh, studio. <laughs> nice. Yeah, very, very cool, though. Uh, you obviously, got through it. if you haven't seen it, uh, I highly recommend it. <laughs> what, what show are you going to start watching next? I, that's just it. It wrecks everything. It Like, when you see a series like that, it ruins everything because you can't really get into another series and think like, oh, that's good. Fuck, Fuck. that's great. Just saw a picture with Dan yeah. and Omar. Damn it, I was out that day. Well, the, the video oh, is yeah. hysterical when Omar uh, fucking goes up to Jimmy and is like, that's you. Oh, motherfucking just grabs Jimmy and gives him a big hug. One of my I favorite moments in, sh in, show, <laughs> in show business, if I'm in it. How about in yeah. your life? Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's a good one, One man. of my favorite moments. Mm. He was so good in that, just fucking like... The uh, the antithesis of Marlo, you know, who was just a hardened fucking didn't give a shit about anything. And then you got Omar, who he really did give a shit, you know. He had like that emotional side, yeah. but he was ruthless yeah. as a motherfucker. But to the people that really kind of, you know, deserved it and shit. Uh, so that was like the and, and then you're expecting the big. The big fucking confrontation Showdown. and, oh, that ain't how it happens, motherfucker. <laughs> not, that's not how it happens on the streets sometimes. No, that was, uh, and, uh, that was great. And Kennard is, uh, to me, oh Kennard was a scary guy. That oh little kid was... God, that little... He was hysterically yeah. funny to watch. Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> but those kids are terrifying because they have no consequences of life None. in prison. or they, they just They'll just kill you and... Kid, he was the scariest one for me. Was, yeah, yeah. Kennard was... to me was the one you would least likely be able to talk your way out of shit with. <laughs> yeah. Child. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> and you also learned that Snoop was never acting. 
Right. No, I know. That's fucked up. Because she, she left that series and just went back into getting into trouble. Getting into trouble. You need subtitles with that bitch. Oh, Holy no shit. shit. Yeah. There's some stuff that she was saying. I'm like, what the fuck? She was in here, man. Talking about? I know. I wasn't scary, here. That I remember that. Scary individual. And again, I'm like, who the fuck is this? Now it's like, holy shit. Oh, mother motherfucker. Well, very good. The wire yeah, is, very cool, uh, is done. While you were watching that, I was watching Make Believe last night. Thanks to Roland. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this thing will find its audience. Yeah, I'll, was, I'll say that much. Was it a show about management supporting the show? <laughs> yeah, wow, they don't really support this thing. See? Was it about Iraq not eating? <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. The, the show has moved up another notch, and uh, no recognition nah, whatsoever down the hall. Nah, nah. Just knocking back shows left and right. Ah, and, what are you, gonna you know, do? we haven't even seen the the guy in, nah. in months, which is good actually. Doesn't matter to me. The further he's away from me, the better off I am. I was listening to that replay uh, coming in this morning yeah. with Jimmy just going, He's got ice cream oh. boy. <laughs> it, was, it was on this morning. And I I yeah. usually, I normally just listen to the news on the way in, yeah. but I had to get through that segment. The Bulls. It, it was hysterically funny, just bashing Iraq. Well, I had to deal with that last night. So. You did? Oh, yeah. What yeah. the <laughs> fuck did we do that for? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, call Jimmy, call in. Why do you have to always fucking call me with this shit? What are they want? Well, he started uh, calling, and for the first time in, in probably ever, I was actually scared of Iraq. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I'll tell him to his face, too. Uh, so he was calling, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. So I would just like answer hang up <laughs> oh shit oh shit so i did that a couple times and then he texts me all he writes is really oh and then finally we talked and i diffused the whole thing i'm like look before you say anything it turns out that that was one of the funniest things we've done in yeah, months yeah relax in months so just relax it wasn't like we harassed you the entire time you were no. down there you know that was his honeymoon technically oh is so that what the deal is so, oh, is it? so oh. we were fucking with him on his honeymoon <laughs> it took like a you know a delayed honeymoon or whatever. Right. Oh boy. I feel better about it now. And then yeah, exactly. he wanted he wanted to bitch and complain and the whole time. I'm like, and when Jimmy was doing the Jamaican character and then and with the whale noises, I it was just a bullet. And he couldn't say anything. Yeah. What's because then say? he's like, oh, right. Well. Uh. And then Sam said that by the end of the night, he's tweeting references to the bit. Oh, he so was. he went from telling everyone to go fuck themselves. He told a lot of people around here to go fuck themselves <laughs> uh, to tweeting about it right. by the end of the night. So was he, was he a little upset at first? Oh, boy. Oh, oh like boy. I said, for the first time, I was scared to actually talk to him. That sentimental motherfucker cost us jokes. <laughs> you see the pattern for today? <laughs> motherfucker was he goes, did you give away my location? I go, no, no, I didn't. No, I just said, I didn't. I didn't. He goes, because they're... Because they've gotten a lot of phone calls that, you know, people are trying to harass us. I'm like, look, man, I don't have to tell you. I guess we made it pretty obvious, to, you know, where you're where yeah. you're at. So they can't get to them, though. And then I popped in this uh, make-believe because we got we got uh, the make-believers coming in today. Now, now what is Burton, this isn't? all about? Well, I'm kind of mad at Roland because... Oh. He pushed this one uh, forward. Slammed it down our throats. And look, he? yesterday he p he pushed Paul Bentney on us. It was great. And he was great. So he was. So what, what do I know? Yeah. But he goes, look, this uh, documentary, Make Believe, it's uh, Lance Burton and a bunch of team mag uh, magicians, the best team magicians in the world. They all get together in Vegas, and they kind of document this thing and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm like, all right, yeah, well, we'll have we'll have Lance Burton, and he's like, he's like the top dog. I think Penn Penn I talked to said that he was the best one or one of the best. Yeah, ones. He, he was one of the for him. Yeah. first magicians to get one of those ridiculous contracts in uh, Vegas. Lance Burton is in this film. I swear to you, if it's three minutes, I'll be surprised. Are you shitting me? And that's how Roland sold this fucking thing to us. That it's a documentary. It's not just yeah, a, a Lance Burton documentary, basically. He's in this for three minutes. He gives an award away. To oh, the best Jesus. team magician. That's about it. Jimmy saw it too, right? Yeah, it was it was interesting. I mean, there were, there were parts where I really liked. Like, uh, I don't want. I'm not going to say who won. This about it's about a magic competition that these teenagers. Um, you, you don't realize these teenagers in. right now that are obsessed with magic to the with point magic. they want to be the best in the world. I had no Ooh, idea. Some of them magic. are fucking good at it too. Are they damn geek? good? Are they all geeky? 
No, there's one really hot chick. She's like uh, she's 17. A, oh, she's right. ridiculously hot. Yeah, and uh, oh, you'd love her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I think she's wow. coming in today. Oh, she what? Yeah, this she's... chick is oh, hot. Oh uh, no, she's here. Um, the Japanese guy is coming in. Oh wow, that guy was very He's good. Short Amazing. round. <laughs> uh, Magic Bill. <laughs> Magic Bill. Hello, the guy Magic who, Bill. <laughs> the guy with the CDs. Yeah. Oh, no, his name was Bill Koch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that guy was great. Yeah. Right, and, they got the real, uh, the real guy. Did you him. notice his father was a dick? God, I want to tell uh, this Bill kid that his father's a dick. They have a, his father's a harder. He's man. one of these uh, military dads. Really, nothing's good enough for yeah. his. Son, uh, you know, and and his uh, his three year old son at the time upstaged him as he's being a conductor at this big fucking town thing i guess yeah and the little three-year-old like gets up on a table and they have it on film and he's conducting so the crowd's laughing like wow this kid's stealing the, sh uh, the show but the problem is it's his father that he's stealing the show from and the father can't let the fucking thing go oh shit. he goes that's okay but make sure it never happens again he tells his wife what an the asshole he's the kid's three Ugh. and that just sets the pace for this kid's life you know what a douche. Yeah, who else did you like in it? Um, the I like, Africans from Cape Town? I, really, I like all the, the teenagers because it's... it's uh, we all, look, everyone likes magic. Yeah, I enjoy magic. It was fun watching people who were good at it. But like, the problem is we do a radio show. Yes. So, yeah. So magic on the radio, we usually say no to. Yep. I th so that's the first like strike, and then the second strike is Roland goes, "It's it's Lance Burton. You got to have Lance Burton on." I'm like, okay, but he's not in the film. Well, he's still Lance Burton. He's still he's but he's, he's still an interesting. In the, dude. He's not in this film. The girl, the ones I wanted to talk to, if I had to talk to anyone mm, with a girl, right? Uh, uh, Chris, her name is. Find a picture. Uh, Kristen Stewart. Kristen F Stewart. Find a picture. And and, and the uh, that guy Bill, the Japanese guy, or the Asian guy, was really good. But he, I don't he know how good speak his English, English was. So how is he going to do today? But he was, uh, he was a very fucking. Right, we'll have these guys do magic tricks for Jimmy. I want to see magic. So that's a little later magic. today. Magic. And then I, I like when the he... thing didn't suck. By the way, it wasn't no, a bad I, documentary. I I'm just trying to figure out how we make it work. He tried to get us with a. Um... With a hypnotist uh, last week too. Yeah, right. I was like, no. I fucking was like, no, <laughs> no. And I, I put it in parentheses. I said, me as a chicken, no, <laughs> to magician, uh, fucking hypnotists on the radio. I have hated that since I heard a hypnotist on the radio. Well, we did a few of those over the years. I right? know, and I've always hated it. Oh my God! Is that her? Yeah, she's. Uh, All right, punch, punch. Oh my God! No, yeah. no, no, no. And now she's really. <laughs> she's in college. Holy shit! Yeah, she's in college. Yeah. Oh no! I think she goes to UCLA. All right, I'm gonna be a bumbling, babbling mess. And she seems to have some issues, so which is and there's, there's really one, perfect for you. Well, what I like about her is <laughs> good. There's one moment they show. Yeah. Of just, I'm not gonna say when it was or whatever, but there was a fuck up that happens where they show somebody fucking up. Uh, doing a mag I've never seen a magic trick fucked up before. I do magic act. <laughs> <laughs> but she had a major fuck up at one point, and it was like, oh god, I guess that does happen. Oops. Ugh. Fuck. An oops. I screamed. Yeah, but yeah. it was it was an easy move that she fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Oh and, really? And these kids, the the one thing you learn is they they practice all day long. Like yeah. They, they know their shit. Oh. So they never fuck up when it's something easy. Hours, like hours. It, all she had to do was get the balls in a hat. Hey, huh? Is that what they call it these days, the kids? <laughs> but they say it's the easiest thing to do in the <laughs> the booyah, the booyah. <laughs> booyah. It's easiest, easiest thing to do, and she fucked it up, and one fell on fell on the floor. Oh boy! You guys see this? The the card tricks they do though. Yeah, Jimmy. How does they? How do they do the? They make the cards appear and then they throw them down and then another and then they lift their hand back up and another set of cards are in their hand. That's fucked. Up. It's got something to do with them with but them the, being able they, to flip behind their hand. They hold the cards behind their hands somehow. I understand that, but oh, they do it like Jesus. four or five times. Like how the fuck do you learn how to do that? They said what this the Asian guy whose name I don't remember, yeah, he, 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 Ikiro or something. So, yeah, just think what, sushi. What he was doing, yes, yeah, sushi. What he was doing was. Uh, Technically, so hard that like, the audience doesn't even know how hard what he's doing is. Hiroki Haro. Hiroki Haro with these four fingered. He was doing something with both hands, with, with like fanning out cards with four fingers and, and, and making them appear and disappear. That's, that's a, yeah, technically that's, the audience doesn't even know how fucking difficult that they is. They say it's extremely difficult that most magicians don't even really uh, deal with that crap. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. And he pulled it off uh, perfectly, so... What's she doing there? Her ring thing. She likes the rings. Oh, she's doing the rings? That's yeah. an old gag. It is. She that's loves like the in rings. the prestige. Yeah, they, they had the rings. Ah. Oh. That's her thing. She likes Clank, clank. All right, you want to see something? A <laughs> 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 bullet catch. A <laughs> bullet catch. Let's see the bullet catch. Someone could put a button or a penny in. The <laughs> 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 fucking movie's great. The Prestige. Uh, so Lance Burton will be here with the Teen Magicians. You can catch him at the Pantages across the street. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's called Make Believe. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It's done by the uh, the same guys who did King of Kong too. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah. Well, that was a good movie. It sure was. I like that one. Hey. Um, oh. You want to fool around with the situation's dad here? He's got. He's, you bet I do. He, what's that? <laughs> you couldn't have said that better. <laughs> what's the scoop? He's dishy. He, he's trashing uh, the sitch. What the fuck did he do that for? <laughs> <laughs> do that all day. Well, maybe he remembers the sitch being a younger kid and better time. Sentimental motherfucker <laughs> made fun of his almost gay son. <laughs> <laughs> With his glasses. Oh, he was fucking Short disgusted. little old motherfucker. He, he was wanted, so mad. Just wanted the 900. Oh, come on. They were And they were kind of coming up with the money and all standing there like, oh, this is good. This is great. Bam. Now we out all that money, motherfucker. And she's gave a great speech. There is no oh, fucking. Oh, great. There is no uh, nostalgia to this shit. It's just he was just today saying. Is today There ain't no more of this. There ain't no more of that. It's that. And it was like, wow, he's taking the lead. He's going to be the guy that, like, kind of keeps these guys in check. Boom! <laughs> I'd love to fucking... That oh, guy rules. What the fuck? You t- oh, he was so tiny. <laughs> Belt high man. <laughs> unhappy with the murder. How oh, fantastic. <laughs> what did the sitch... Uh, what did the sitch's dad do? Well... Why is he mad? Well, I guess... Uh, I guess Mikey there's... You know, not with the family these days. No, huh? And the father's saying, look, I helped this kid through a lot of shit... He even gave him a job after the first season of Jersey Shore because those those kids weren't making much money, you know. No. Uh, and I guess he's a diabetic. He's in between jobs and his medical insurance is running out, so he has to sitch for a little help because the uh-huh. sitch is worth a few bucks right now. Well, how much is a little help? I don't. Well, he wants him to pay for his uh, yeah. medical insurance. Well, and how much? Fucking, you know, you know what? How close are are they? Are, are they or are they? He says they were close. That, yeah, you know, the sitch had some issues, and and he's was always bailing them out and helping them out here and there. And now he needs a little help, and the situation is turning his back on his father and his family. Because sometimes these dads are fucking assholes. Well, uh, well, They're like the, Lindsay Lohan's dad, you know. Well, the dad has proven he's an asshole, and that and this is probably why the situation has nothing to do with him. Ah, okay. Because he doesn't get his medical insurance paid by the situation. Now he makes these videos right away. Oh, okay. And now it's saying on TMZ that he wants his own reality show. So it seems like the father's a fucking dick. What a dick. A dick. I know people say this about our show and stuff, but could this possibly be a work for a sequel? Kind of a spinoff thing? Oh, um... Mm. Yeah, I guess you can't believe everything, right? Yeah, but people say that about this show when things are real. <laughs> hey, is that was that uh, was that a bit? St. Pat's firing a bit that lasted for two years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bit. Yeah, that, that's mean. that's what we want to do. <laughs> so why don't we play some of the highlights from these these videos? The f- yeah, let's play some highlights that the father uh, put out there. The Sitch's dad explains who he is and what the purpose of these videos are. What a mm. fuck. Well, just imagine, preamble. just imagine someone in your own family doing this. I mean, what the yeah. fuck? There's yeah. enough assholes out there that want to knock you down and, and be an asshole up. to you. But when it comes from your own family, what the fuck? Yeah. Imagine your dad making videos, Jimmy. I can't comprehend it. This uh, is, there's another story we're going to do today about a parent-child relationship and show, but I just, I don't get these fucking parents, man. Yeah. They, I, I, I hate them. I think they <clears> get <throat> some jealousy. I think so. They get some jealousy and they want that fame as well. Mm. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're not. Instead of just being proud for your kid, you're like, fuck that. I want a little of that. And then there's shit. some gives me that. You know, they want some money or whatever the fuck they want They want to get out right. of it. Yeah. These videos are great, though, because then he goes after all the fucking cast members. He, oh, he this does. guy's just a, a piece of work. How you doing? My name's Frank Sorrentino. Oh, God. I was born in Staten Island, New York. Oh, God. At an early age, I got married. I had three kids. Like the music. Life started early for me at 19. Didn't have no childhood. And as a young child, I had a bad childhood. <laughs> I solved problems the way we learned how to solve problems. I solved problems with my hands and with my friends. And that's who we are. 
I had three kids. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a few stories. One of my boys is Michael Sorrentino, also known as The Situation. He created more situations for me in my life than the name he gave himself. He put me in more confrontations than any boy I ever had. I'm all for family, I'm all for this bullshit. You're all for yourself. And if that's the way it is, that's fine. Don't be on fucking, don't be going fucking telling nobody, oh, I do this, I do that. You're full of shit. I'm telling you, you're full of shit. I know you. I stood up for you. I put my fucking balls on the line for you. A hundred fucking times. A hundred fucking times. When you couldn't. I ask you one fucking favor, you tell me to go fucking be like a regular fucking Joe Blow and go on welfare? Nah, my friend. I don't do that. I love my son, Mike. But, you know what, Mike? When you get to the top and you forget where you come from, somebody should remind you. I just want to remind you. That's it. I love my son, but he broke my heart. And that's what this is all about. So sit back. I'm going to tell you about the situation. What he a was fucking... bagging cocktail waitresses two at a time. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. <laughs> scumbag. That's real. That's not a fucking lie. Yeah, I think that's real. You can tell it's scumbag. <clears throat> it's just a real asshole. What a dick. Yeah, what a scumbag. Ugh. I don't, even, if they, even if the kid is a dick, still no reason to go out and just no. get attention for yourself. Right. Why don't you try to work out your problems, right? Let me tell you something also. As, as an Italian watching that is like a black guy watching like lord and lord where bees the watermelon and fried chicken lord and lord let me give you some soft shoe and tap dance that but, is like ugh but that doesn't bother you no it it doesn't it doesn't bother me but it's so over the top guinea like fucking dumb guinea motherfucker he's real that's guinea, how though. that comes across yeah yeah but it's it's not like that's not you know, that that comes across like, ugh, you just look at it as, as an Italian and, and go like, ugh. But he's barely uh, playing it to the cameras. But that's him. Yeah, that's him, mostly. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he's pumping it up slightly. I was born Stan Island. Well, I put my balls, <laughs> hey, my fucking balls on the line for you more times, you little motherfucker. Well, he tells the story of the sitch getting a blowjob at work. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Following year, I had to get Mike another job because he had a, he needed a summer job. So this time, I put him with my friend who owned a big construction company. Again, all he had to do was show up to Queens every day, and he would have no problem. But Mike was working and you know heavy working out at that time. Was he was far? He was gigantic, far from what he looks like today. And uh, he used to love to pose, flex, show his stomach, his ab muscles. And so, uh, I mean, he's a young guy. He's working up there with some 30s and 40-year-old women. He caught the attention of one of them. And instead, you know, of working and maybe working out, doing something with her outside the, uh, outside the office, uh, she decides that she wants to suck his dick. <laughs> and basically, she gives him a blowjob in the office. And... Why is that a problem? <laughs> all all this guy's doing problem? is making me like the situation what's, more what's and hate yeah, him. Problem. Yeah, what's the problem with that? Wow, that's really throwing some dirt around. <laughs> what's oh, the problem? Oh, no, he got blown once. Ooh. <laughs> this guy's just mad. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had him all over the world. <laughs> she gets caught. No. He, Michael claims sexual harassment. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine? This fucking guy. I get him a job with my friend. He's he Jadru. claims sexual harassment. What happens is, the woman gets fired, and Michael wants to pursue a suit of sexual harassment against the woman. My friend gave me the job to give to him, because my friend was close to me. This clown wants to go and claim sexual harassment, because some 40-year-old broad sucked his dick. Again, they got rid of him, caused a problem between me and my friend, or as I would say, uh, instead of a problem, caused a situation again. And put me in a situation with my friend, oh, and therefore situation. he got paid for the rest of the summer, but they told him they didn't want him in the building. And that was that. And now, and now she's got a son in prison.
prison and a grandmother in the funeral home. <laughs> this guy is just too much. Just because he didn't get his uh, medical insurance paid. Yeah. So he's going to fucking just turn and rat. Obviously, uh, these two have had problems forever. Hey, if that's the biggest problem you could come up with that you're describing like your kid getting a blowjob and... Uh, yeah, well, at least it was a woman. <laughs> if he was like, and then my friend who gave him the well, job is sucking his dick. No, I how walk he, in. How he fucked that story up, though, the sexual harassment thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's embarrassing for any guy. Yeah. No guys fucking uh, sue for sexual harassment right. ever. So that makes the situation look like a, you know, like a little worm. Well, who, who saw that coming? Uh, Papa Stitch, uh, Papa Stitch, I guess, talks about a sex tape the Stitch made. Oh. The sex tape was a big, big problem for me, a real big problem for me. Um, Mikey went out with a young, a young girl, very, very attractive, a really nice girl. Um, we all liked her a lot. Jealous. But, uh, you know, I guess her and Mike decided to make a, a tape together. And uh, when they made that tape together, they had it, and it was great. But when Mike broke up with her, she wanted it back and Mike didn't want to return it and they used to watch the tape all the time with his friends in the basement they would laugh and ah oh, look at this I'm banging a heel look at this look at that but <laughs> hey I'm banging a heel look at this look at that I got a raise I'm sucking a fucking tits look at this shit ah mingy mingy look at this shit um, but look she's coming like a fucking cannoli you know, I wonder if this guy wanted to bang that 40-year-old. Oh. I wonder if this guy, he's just jealous. He sounds a little he's jealous. jealous of his There's son. There's nothing more pathetic than a jealous parent. Nothing more fucking pathetic. Look at that, but what happened is that girl got married. And uh, when she got married, she married into a family uh, who I know. And uh, their father found out about the tape. Oh, jeez. And he wanted it back. And that caused Mike a big, big problem because he didn't give the tape back. Good. And uh, when it caused Mike a problem, it started to cause me a problem. Hey, if your daughter's because a fucking Because the whore. people who wanted it back were now looking to do physical harm to Mike. And I wasn't about to let that happen. So once again, I had to have him Michael out. put me in a situation to where I had to bail him out. You know what? If A, you're a father helping his son, big fucking deal. Right. That's what you should do. That's your job. And B, all you have to do is make a copy of the tape. How stupid is the situation? Yeah. Make a copy and hand it back. You go, here you go. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I would Don't watch hear, it. I would love to hear his side of this, but of he's not going to talk about this shit. Mingy. Why would you want to keep the tape that badly? So we could get in the basement with his friends and go, look at me fucking, uh, I'm sucking fucking, she's sucking my cock. Look at this, look at that. Look at this, <laughs> look at that over here. <laughs> especially with <laughs> especially with the father coming at you like that. Yeah. You give the tape back at that point, though. No? Yeah. But this is, this is just the one. This is one side. One side. Uh, he explains the problem with this, the sex tape led to. I was all for Michael giving it back. I mean, the girl, you know, but again... He was being an asshole. He didn't give it back, and it, it embarrassed people. So they upped the stakes. At one up time, stakes. they tried to run him over. Any stakes? They tried to run him over with an ice truck. Oh, what year is this? Of course. What year is this? It was an ice truck. The horse was pulling the ice. What fucking year is this? Who has an ice truck? What's an ice truck in this day and age? It's the turn of the century. The fuck is that? The situation has turn of the century problems. Thank God <laughs> the milkman saw it right. and uh, put the kibosh on the whole thing. Don Bozzini wanted to take back. <laughs> <laughs> they shot the situation on the causeway. <laughs> He's dead. Can we get this asshole on the on the show? Uh, Looks God. like he would do some radio. This guy wants some attention. We'll give him some attention. I, I bet you we could. Yeah, let's try to get him on the fucking phone tonight. Oh, Jesus. An ice truck. They tried to run him over the ice truck. I lit up the radiator with my Tommy gun. 
<laughs> he embarrassed me. I had all these girls. We were going to play cards on the table, on the house. <laughs> and he <laughs> said that he was tired and get rid of the girls. I even went ba da ba da 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 and danced into the room. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> an ice truck? <laughs> Fucking the fuck? I've never seen an ice truck in movies. I've seen him. And I followed him along the roof during the San Gennaro Fest. <laughs> yes. That's where I got rid of the gun. <laughs> we got a theory on the sex tape. Chris in the Poconos from that heart-shaped tub. What's up, Chris? Yeah, they probably didn't want to give the uh, girl the sex tape because she was just going to give it to TMZ, make a couple bucks. Uh, yeah, that's oh, why, well, you know, maybe. That's right. why I would love to hear the situation's take on this whole thing. But then you make a deal like, okay, we're all getting together and watch. We're going to destroy the fucking tape together. If he was paranoid about that. But, th but is that after he got famous that they wanted that tape? I'm assuming that's before. Oh, it might be, right. I think that's before, bro. Yeah, but that before shit, you know. Like he wasn't famous then when they wanted like the tape. Like he wasn't back. famous, so. The girl got married, so the right. father wanted the tape. Yeah. But people would still want to see that after he got famous. But she wouldn't know. She had no clue that. But maybe, he, maybe he was getting famous as all this shit was going down. I don't know. It sounds like the way this father's talking about it. And I don't know nothing. That this goes way specific, back. But it sounds like this is like old stuff. Right. This is pre-famous situation. Situation. Uh, let's get back into the ice truck. Uh, when they tried that, he called me up on the phone. I was with his mom in the car one day. And we were going somewhere, and the call came to his mother. Murray Hill 56503. She handed me the phone. <laughs> and at that particular time, I made a call to some people who I knew. And I told them that if this continued to happen, that... I was going to solve the problem myself <laughs> and I was going to exact out whatever revenge I had to do if my boy was harmed. This guy sounds like Laid. <laughs> um, well, what do you think? Low level mafia guy here? He, he, no, this he's sounds hit, like he's a hinting that he wanna knows be. This sounds like a wannabe m mafia guy. He's hinting, though. Like he's trying to be a tough guy. <laughs> How many mafia uh, guys you hear actually go on fucking TMZ none. and tell personal family they business about their son? They would never do that. And he was having sex with that girl during the wedding <laughs> against Tom Hagen knocking on the door. <laughs> he embarrassed me. <laughs> I saw Tom turn around and man smile. He made the smirky smile and came down the stairs. I, I knew he was fucking that fat broad against the door. He couldn't sing. I slapped him in the face. <laughs> you can act like a man! What's the matter with you? <laughs> so I, I don't think he's. He, I mean, he might know some people, but I, I, I've never heard a mob guy for real go do this type of shit. Right. Um, thank goodness for both sides uh, that it didn't happen. Uh, we had a meeting. Oh, we handed meeting. over the tape. The guy was happy. I told him there'd be no more attempts to do any harm to Mike. Because then it would be a problem with me. Oh, the and if you wanted a problem speech. with me, it was okay. I really didn't care one way or the other. Yes, you did. If we should be I struck by lightning. <laughs> and uh, we gave the tape back. And basically, the problem went away. Why do they make copies? Oh, he, he's trying to sound like the fucking, like a mob guy. You didn't solve a union issue. Yeah. Your yeah. kid fucked some chick on a tape and handed it over. <laughs> we had a meeting. <clears throat> And the cops showed up. We had to jump out the windows and run. <laughs> he's oh, God, stop it. All he's doing is making the situation look cooler. Yeah. yeah. He got blown and he fucked a chick on tape. Oh, right. that terrible chick guy. On tape. Yeah, this is horrible stuff. Showed some, it to his friends. Some crazy dirt. Uh, I guess the sitch was in a, a car accident, and that was a problem oh, yeah. for the father. Why as did well. he th did he threaten the uh, did he did he punch the tires off the sitch's body? <laughs> and I hit the car. The car wanted problems with me. <laughs> I knocked the car into grill. It was a, a minor accident. No one was injured. <laughs> the car in the compound that's all oh, blown. Yeah. It's blown up <laughs> and burnt out. And Tom Hagen goes, man, I'm a, this minor accident. No one was injured. <laughs> One day Mike was driving to school, I think he was about 16 now, 16, 17, and uh, he started experimenting with, a lot, with some controlled substances that created a lot of smoke. So the car was filled with smoke, and as he's driving on oh, Tenant Jesus. Road, as he tells me, he didn't see what he ran over. How could you? He's fucking high as a kite. 
Uh. The car's filled with smoke. He didn't see nothing. The music's loud, and as he tells it on MTV, he made it sound like, oh, the car just stopped. No, Mike ran over a sewer grate that ripped out the whole undercarriage of the car. Oh, Mingy. Ripped the whole undercarriage out of the car, and the car came to a stop. He said he didn't know why. Well, there was parts behind him from before he made the turn to where he stopped. But you see, he couldn't stay there because the car was full of, was full of smoke. <coughs> Still. He didn't want to get caught. So what does he do? Runs into the woods. And guess who he calls? Me. Yeah. I get there. Now, I, I, I was a, a person of suspect at that particular time in another state. So I really didn't need any more aggravation. Oh, my God. I was a person of suspect, not a person of interest. I was a person of suspect in another state for another thing. You know, That's oh, a man act. <laughs> he knocked a mailbox over. <laughs> One time, he was, the situation was driving through people's backyards, <laughs> knocking down mailboxes, got a girl on a tape in the car. That's a man act. Probably had a speeding ticket in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Another state. Relax, Papa Sitch. Really? You wanted, are Papa you? Sitch. A wanted man in another state? At one time, Stop he was it. he was do, drying his sunglasses with the tissue paper, and the woman had to come out and go, Yoo-hoo! <laughs> and tell him that he was dragging the toilet paper. And she actually, he actually said, nice ass. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had to sit down and apologize for him saying nice ass. <laughs> this guy's hideous. Have a meeting. So I really didn't need any more aggravation, nor any more confrontation with the police. But I came down there anyway for Mike, told him I was driving the car, car's full of smoke. Uh, he still. says, roll the windows down. You know, he asks me if I smoke. I say no. He asks me where Mike is because they knew I had a son. I said there was nowhere to be found. I said I was driving the car. I said if there's a problem, you can deal with me on it. They knew I wasn't the driver. Mikey was hiding in the woods. Again, they had nothing on me. They were forced to let me go. What? We towed the car away. What? Wait, wait, wait. First of what all, had saying? the cops know? Had the cops know that he had a son, and, and and the car, like no one's in the car. The old man's the only one that shows up. What the fuck? That makes no sense whatsoever. Not at all. This guy's a lying sack of shit. I think he's folding under questioning. <laughs> uh, it really cemented myself to do this after... Cement, another stereotype, um, you bastard. Michael's agent. Oh. Mike sent... Mike? My agent an email telling him about libel and this and that and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. Mingy. Guy in the so, middle going, what do you want from me? All I could say is, listen, Mike, you got a fucking problem, you want to fucking say something, you could call me up and you could tell me. You don't have to run around a fucking bush, hide behind a fucking wall, email, it, email me like some fucking telephone tough guy. You got something to say, fucking say it. <laughs> or else, shut the fuck up, okay? Sounds and we'll loving. go from there. Because the last time I saw you in June, you wanted to suck my dick. Okay? What? So, don't come off like some type of tough guy, Mike. Because in the world I come from, if you want to dance with somebody, oh, no. you make sure you know who you're going to ask to dance. <laughs> if you want to dance with me, Mike, you should be ready to get out here and go for it. That's it, my friend. Uh, wow, he's just telling his son I'll beat you up. This guy is fucking awful. You want to dance with somebody, you better know how to dance. How embarrassing. The dance. God, I like the situation all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing a dance. <laughs> One time, he was uh, standing there learning uh, how to make sauce when he should have been uh, conducting business. <laughs> Put in your sausage... Yeah. Your meat. He told the girl he loved. Uh, he couldn't wait to see you. <laughs> hey, you want to know how to dance? Oh, this guy is such a wannabe fucking guinea mobster. You want to stop it? You want a bonus clip? Oh, of course I do. There's another clip I need. I don't have in front of me. He goes after Dina, the new cast member, and yeah. Snooky. 
and has, Snooki, has yeah. some great shit to say yeah, about yeah, those man. two. If we can find that clip, it would be wonderful. But uh, we have a bonus clip here. Uh, the Sitch's dad talks about Ronnie from the Jersey Shore. Oh, Ronnie, fucking crybaby. How do you get on TV and cry like a fucking bitch over a girl? You're crying on fucking television? You want everybody to know that you're a fucking fag? That you that you want everybody to know, oh, I'm fucking Sammy, I'm Sammy. I'm like, Get the you're fuck out, out of here. Man. Be a fucking man. She wants to go, let her fucking go. Get somebody else. Don't cry like a fucking fag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what the sitch must have heard growing up? Oh, yeah. Everything I heard growing oh, up. Yeah. All, all the big words. This guy's trying so hard to fucking shoehorn himself tough, in. Yeah. To be as famous. The tough guy father. Hey, uh, you think the sitch is something? Yeah, yeah. You look out for me. It Does anybody makes, respect this guy? And it's no, horrendous. No. It all makes sense now. It's it all so, makes sense now. I think the sitch isn't allowed to be who he really wants to be because he grew up with this guy. <laughs> one time, let I me tell you. I think the sitch is very confused. One time the situation <laughs> wanted to go out shopping with uh, me and the rest of the family. Yeah. He brought what he called a puppet. But it was uh, not a puppet. It was a doll. <laughs> and I said, "What are you? What's the matter with you? What, what are you a fag? With your doll?" And his mother opens her fucking mouth and goes, "It's a puppet." And then the spaghetti fucking, I threw it against the wall, and the kid starts fucking crying <laughs> like some kind of fucking faggot. <laughs> oh, brother! <laughs> I, I, hopefully, uh, Sam's getting the Snooky clip. Yeah. He calls her a pig. And Let me Dina tell you about the time his uh, f good friend yeah. good friend wanted to suck his fucking cock in a treehouse. <laughs> huh? This half a fag <laughs> is up in a fucking treehouse, and this other faggot wants to suck his fucking dick? I say, no way. <laughs> the sitch. The <laughs> sitch's dad makes my dad look like Ward Cleaver. <laughs> He's got to deal with that shit. Oh, of course he's not going to pay him for fucking medical treatment. He wants his taste. Yeah. This guy wants his taste. That's he all. He does. That's all it is. Allow us to wet our beaks. Yeah. He just wants a taste of that sitch money. You carry your 40-year-old uh, women in your pocket like so many nickels and dimes. <laughs> he's probably jealous because he probably like uh, told the situation, look, you know, I wouldn't mind being part of the Jersey Shore. Yeah. You know, hey, you bring think me I in for a little, in there? little like, something. Nah, well, you know, I'm not really in charge. And he probably has that. to hey. kind of blow him off a little bit. That's all I did for you. Hey, I talked to MTV. They're, not, they're thinking about it, but, you know, I don't know. We'll have to See and see what happens. Yeah, and then the father finally had it. He wants his taste. He wants his taste of the money and the taste of the fame. What an asshole! This it happens is. with some of these people. Terrible, Ugh. fucking terrible vultures. Jesus, you get a father or a mother every once in a while that wants this shit. <sighs> what do we got? They're He's working. Wants it in for, another state for probably a speeding ticket. I was suspect. <laughs> suspect. In another state, <laughs> suspect. <laughs> For what? Person of uh... you blow you you're laying everything out on the fucking line, right? Uh, on this dumb fucking recording, no. but you're not going to say what this problem was out right. of state, eh? Hey, uh... He doesn't lay anything out on the line. No, he, he could have easily said that the situation was smoking pot in yeah. his car. There was smoke in the car, but, but and for some reason there's smoke in the car for hours. For hours. Hours on end, this car is still full of smoke. You know, I, kn I know that they like to play that in the movies where people are getting high to the point they can't see yeah. out of the car because of the smoke. But in real life, I've never seen no. that. You roll people have one smoke window to the point down you a little bit. Past the smoke. It's done. He had enough time to get out of the car, run into the woods. The father gets down there, and there's still smoke in the car. Right. The fuck? So the stories he's putting out there, he, his son gets blown by 40-year-olds because they can't help it. Yeah. And they need his cock. They got to suck that gig. He, he had so much sex that there was a sex tape out there for a while. Yeah. And he got into a car accident while maybe smoking pot. <clears throat> wow, those are crazy Look stories. Out. Insanity going on there. We got the Sitch's dad on the phone here. Uh, Sitch's dad, oh, what's really? up, sir? Hey, you wouldn't know how to do a radio show. You got to know uh, how to turn on the fucking radio, eh? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That call was not just taken. That could be the worst 
worst listener call ever. I didn't hear a word he he's said. He's gone. He's oh. gone. Hey. He's gone on his own. You got to learn how to do radio if you're going to do radio. Hey. That's what he did. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Ooh. We got the real uh, father oh, on the phone. Right. Oh. Sitch's father. Yes, sir. I, I got to set the situation straight here, fellas. You see, I was the brains behind the show, the Jersey Shore. You see, I used to yell at the kid. I says, you you smoking weed all day. You're hanging out at the beach with the friends. What do you think? You're going to have the cameras come follow you around or something? You're going to have a show? Next thing I know, he got a show. I, I, I They owe me everything. Everything. Anything else? Um, Anything else? Yeah, we have one more. Wow, they really can't uh, can't get this one together, can they? Well, they're trying though. Oh, are they? Here's the Sitch's father. Uh, Sitch's father. <laughs> it sounds like my son's got some kind of situation or something out there, right? Uh, <laughs> situation's father. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like he's over there showing his stomach, going, "Look at my got ten of them." <laughs> So what 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 happened with the a girl getting the uh, giving him the blow job? Why why does that upset you so much? Um, because she was giving him a BJ. And she was he was supposed to be doing his homework. <laughs> Wait, is this is this the father of Chip? Yeah, no, no, this is uh, the situation. Are you are you sure? Because uh, now I'm starting to think that maybe the father of Chip has problems with Chip, the chips, and, and, and the, chips and Chipsters fame. The chip situation. <laughs> <laughs> Chip situation. <laughs> yeah, the father was calling him up. He was because one time he was doing construction and he built something. It was top one over and stuff, you know, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. <laughs> he is, is, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so you don't What's talk. That? You don't. You don't talk to uh, your son anymore. <laughs> no, his mother's a saint on earth. But no, I don't talk to him no more because I asked him if he could help me. Because my felt hat needed to be fixed, I couldn't. I, cause I couldn't. I said it felt bad. <laughs> it felt bad. It felt bad. I don't like that. I can't hear nothing. Am I still on? Uh, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. You yeah, are. <laughs> unfortunately. yeah. That's my phone's broke. I think that went good though. <laughs> I think that went good though. <laughs> Chip's a jerk. Uh, <laughs> and his Chip. father. Was that Chip's father? Chip's I'm, I'm confused. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. It was a funny call, though. He had some good lines. It was terrific. He did. He really he did. Fallen over. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have uh, the, the Sitch's uh, comments about Snooky and Dean after the break. I'd like to hear How that. How has he, has he made... Oh, his father's you made. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, the Sitch is bummed out that the father decided to do this. Basically, so. Yeah. The fuck, man? That's a little fucking weird. It, it's just fucking like, uh, you don't is, do that. This this is more than medical insurance. I'm telling you, this guy is yeah. jealous of his son's fucking fame and the money he's making, and he wants his taste. But Simple to air, as that. air dirty laundry, that isn't even, he's making it dirtier than it is. No, because what he's doing is now getting his fame on his own. He said, all right, fuck yeah. it. If I'm not going to do it through my son with the proper channels, I'm now going to do this, and I'm going to get my fame either way. Yeah. And a little taste of money, too. I reckon. Hell yeah. That's silly. Oh All right, why don't we take a break? Yeah, yeah. Hey, we also have Jim Jeffries coming in today. Yes. Yes. Very cool. Incomparable. And Lance Burton, the magician. Oh, and and uh, a couple of his teen magician stars. Yeah, you're yeah. going to like the blonde. Yes. Well, hello. What have we got here? You want to hide this oh, rabbit? Oh, let's uh, let's that. make something disappear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be a dumb fucking creep. That's what I am anyway. What the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> I can love that all day. Uh, all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Hey, uh. uh I gotta eat. Yeah, let's eat. <laughs> hello. Yes, hello. Hello. I called you before. My name is the Egyptian magician. The Egyptian magician. Right. 
I called. They told me to call back in one uh, ten minutes. Uh, hold on. Hi, can I help you? Hi, this is Carol, the night manager. Yes, my name is Tarbash, the Egyptian magician. I do magic act. Okay. Do you want to come in and audition? What I do, I eat hot coal. That's great. I stab customer and I with saber. Uh -huh. And I sick my cat on my performers and they maul them on stage. Wow. But in my country, that's considered the entertainment. Considered, yeah, that's considered magic. Right. Right. And then I light people on fire, but it, it is, you know, fake, you know. And I, it's fake. Right. But that's what I do. Eat the Egyptian magician. The Egyptian magician. Right. Then for encore, I punch my chest and then it disappears to the, the crowd. You punch your chest and it disappears in the crowd. That's it? Yes, my friend. Uh-huh. Um, well, if you want to stop by, you would only be able to do two tricks. Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm the best. Okay, every and Wednesday night. Then I have small uh, mountain cat. That, the mountain cat. That I terrorize people. You terrorize people with the mountain cat. Okay, well, I don't know if you... You better not bring the mountain cat in for the first time. Okay. Okay. Um, the, come by, quarter to nine, sign up, and see how you do. Okay, and then maybe just for extra bonus, I choke some of you faculty staff. Yeah, you choke the staff. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Okay, then I come out with whip. Yeah, you come out with the whip. Okay, well, stop by and we'll see how the act goes. Okay, my friend. Thank you, my friend. <laughs>